Hi. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about one of the most creative tools in the photographer's arsenal, depth of field. In photography, depth of field is defined as what's in focus in front of and behind the subject that we have focused on. In this picture, for instance, we have a very shallow or minimal depth of field with only our subject in focus. Shallow depth of field reduces distracting backgrounds or directs a viewer's attention to a specific part of the photograph. However, in this next image, everything is in focus from the foreground to the background. So this picture has great or deep depth of field. Having everything in focus works well on sweeping landscape vistas or where you want to show that everything is of equal importance in a picture. Depth of field is affected by the aperture that variable sized opening in the back of the lens that we learned about in an earlier tutorial. The smaller the aperture, let's say f2 or 2.8, the larger the diameter of the opening and the shallower the depth of field. And the larger the f number, for example f11 or f22, the smaller the opening and the greater the depth of field. So from the shallow depth of field in this picture, I'd say it was probably taken using a large aperture, such as f2.8. While this picture was almost certainly taken with a small aperture, such as f22. For many photographers, this numbering system can be confusing in the beginning. So here's a simple rule of thumb to help you remember. Imagine you have 22 eggs lined up in a row running away from the camera. Focus your camera on one of the middle eggs. If you want just that egg to be in focus and all the others out of focus, use a wide aperture such as f4 for a shallow depth of field. But if you want most of the eggs to be in focus, you would have to use a small aperture such as f22 to achieve a much greater depth of field. So just remember, the more things you want in focus, the higher the f number you choose. The fewer things you want in focus, the smaller f number you choose. One easy way to test the effect of different apertures for yourself is by setting the mode dial on your EOS to AV, which stands for Aperture Value. In this mode, you can change the aperture and your EOS will calculate the shutter speed needed. Depth of field is a little difficult to judge at first. The best way to learn is to shoot a number of images and then view the results on your EOS live view screen or upload them to a computer or even print them out to clearly see what is in and out of focus. If you would like to share some of your photography and help others learn, upload some of your shots to the project tab on this page. There are two tabs, one for shallow depth of field and the other for deep depth of field. We would love to see your results. Happy shooting!